All right, so real quick, we're going to run through our TDL settings. This, in combination with our survey style, should resolve our radio link down or no radio issue. So first thing we're going to notice here is device status, battery normal. I'm going to hit the arrow to the right. Here's where we're going to make note of our channel frequency, currently set to channel 9. The only thing I want you guys to look at is our RX light. If our RX light is blinking, that means we're being walked on or there's another surveyor in the area who's also using this frequency. If you have an RX light, we use our up or down arrows to pick a different frequency and hit our center button to lock that in. And I know we've changed that setting because of the asterisks. RX light is not blinking, so channel 10 looks open to me. Here's where we're going to set our data protocol. We're going to set this to TTV1 or Trim Talk version 1. This is our over the air baud rate. We have some different options in here. Depending on which firmware you guys are currently running, we want to leave this at TTV1. Lock that in with the asterisk or center button. Next, we have our radio link rate. This is our over the air baud rate that's being transmitted through our antenna cable uh, and out the antenna at the base and then being received by our rubber duck antenna at the rover. We want to set this to 9600. Operation mode, we want this at base slash rover. We can do a repeater setup or some other options here, but a standard traditional RTK setup, we want the setting as such. RX sensitivity, we want this set to low. That means the TDL is only focusing on transmitting a signal. It's not listening in a repeater type capacity. Transmit power, we have different options here. I recommend starting at eight watts. You can bump to 16 or 25 as necessary but in this instance, I find less is more. RX LED meaning currently set to signal received. We want this set this way, so anytime our RX light starts blinking, that means I know I have another field crew or another firm in the area who's walking on me and using the same frequency. That will be an indicator to me I need to change freaks to find an open one so I can get my work done. And last thing I'll cover here is the serial baud rate. We want this set to 38400, and this is the rate at which we're flowing data from our base station to the TDL. This will also match the exact same setting in our survey style. And that, those are the recommended settings for the TDL 450.